Hi! Once again, welcome to the course. I will reveal to you another reliable way to increase your mailing list in this module by using Google AdWords. This is a common technique used by most corporate companies to boost their websites to the first page of Google search engine by paying for clicks. The increase in traffic to your site will increase your email list as well. First things first, you might be wondering what it is, or if you already have some exposure in this, you may have a rough idea about Google AdWords. But let's revise the idea of Google AdWords before we go further. Keyword Planner is one of the features of Google AdWords offers, which is a useful feature especially for starters. This way, you can get a better set of keywords to start a campaign. Now that you've already decided the keyword for the site, you can then start the advertising campaign. After you've set up everything, your site will appear at the front page of Google. However, the placement of the site, whether it's on the top, bottom, or side, will be determined by Google based on the relevance of the search request. Google AdWords provides you a ranking in the search results based on the relevance of your site to a particular keyword, hence increasing the exposure of your site to a targeted group. As mentioned earlier, AdWords' main function is to bring your link to the first page of the search results. For instance, if the keyword chosen is guitar, every time someone looks for guitar in Google's search engine, your site will be appearing on Google. Nonetheless, you need to keep in mind not to choose keywords that are highly competitive. Like the keyword guitar, Gibson, Yamaha, and other established and prominent brands will appear before yours. Now, you should have a rough idea on how efficient Google AdWords is and how it can bring traffic to your website. Unfortunately, you should know that good things are not free. You need to pay Google for every click that Google drives to your site. The payment method will be based on pay-per-click, which is cost-per-click advertising. To start the campaign with Google AdWords, you need to follow a few simple steps. First of all, you need to register for a Google AdWords account, and it is free. Simply key in your email address and your password. Google will automatically fill in for you if you are a Gmail user. In just a few minutes, you should be in. Next, choose the keywords for your site. There are a few criteria to follow when you are choosing your keyword. It must be relevant to your content. Always put yourself in the user's shoes, and for a moment, what will they search? Next, choose your daily budget. You can set the daily budget in Google AdWords. Let's say the cost per click is 10 cents on average, and you'd like to bid for 100 clicks per day. Your daily budget will be 10 cents times 100, hence $10 per day. After a period of testing the traffic, you can then change your daily budget on Google AdWords anytime to increase the clicks to your site. Ad rank is something decided by Google to determine the placement of ads. You might be wondering how ad rank works. I will reveal the secret of ad rank now. This is a competition between all the advertisers in Google AdWords. Every user chooses how much to bid on a daily budget. You can make your own estimation on your own daily budget as well. You might think that the higher bidder gets a higher rank, but it's not entirely true. Besides looking at the daily budget you've set, Google also looks at the quality of the sites as well to decide the ad rank. The higher your ad rank, the higher the placement you'll get from Google. Now, you may be asking how to get a higher rank for it. Google does not look at the bid as the only factor to decide the placement of your ad. Google wants to show only pertaining sites in their search engine and avoid advertisers to simply buy over the ad space with irrelevant ads. The calculation of ad rank is the combination of your bid, expected click-through rates, landing page experience, relevancy of site, and ad format. As mentioned earlier in this module, you already have a clear idea on the relevancy of bidding. So now, I will explain to you about the rest of the factors. First, the expected click-through rates is determined by Google based on their prediction on how many clicks they expect to send to your site. Google always makes decisions based on the feedbacks from their users. You can't really control this, but you can increase this by choosing the right keyword. Next, the landing page experience is another important factor that Google emphasizes on. 
Your landing page must contain relevant and original content, easy to navigate, and of course the transparency of your business. Google analyzes the relevancy of a site by reading the language in your site, and once again, it shows how important it is to choose a good keyword for the search engine. It will determine whether how well your site relates to the search request. Ad format is how you present your information to the users, such as the phone numbers, side links, website's domain, and the other headlines. This is all the factors Google will look at under the ad format category.